The euro hasn't had much at all going for it since last week. Since then, we've seen an ECB rate cut, much stronger than expected U.S. jobs report, turmoil around the European election results, and this latest upbeat U.S. NFIB business optimism showing. There's also been some added downside pressure in U.S. equity futures ahead of the North American Open, which is yet another weight on the euro and broader currency market against the U.S. dollar. As far as the remainder of the day goes, there isn't much at all going on. We get Canada building permits and some ECB speak. Of course, the market will also have a lot on its mind ahead of tomorrow's highly anticipated calendar risk in the form of U.S. inflation data and the Fed policy decision. That's all for now.